morning. You are welcome to Flip TV News. My name is Victor Ajayi. First, the headlines. Court stops jam from restricting Odai students. Now the news in full. United State High Court in Warrior has issued an order restraining the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board from implementing its recent policy requiring a minimum admissible age of 16 years for university admissions. Jam in a statement on October 16 stated that only candidates who will be 16 years old by August 2025 will be admitted to tertiary institutions. This directive was a follow up to the new policy that the Ministry of Education introduced, which says the adoption, the adoption of 18 years as a minimum age for admission into tertiary institutions. Jam, however, made an exemption for students seeking admission into the, in the 2024-2025 session. Dissatisfied with Jam's directive done at Popo Martins, the former Nigerian Bar Association chairman, Wally Branch, dragged the admission board to court. The sole applicant at Popo Martins for an on before of all candidates born on the 1st of September 2009 to the 31st December 2009, who wrote and passed Jam exams in 2024 in a suit marked W slash 311 slash FHR slash 2021. Suits Jam and Edwin Clark University as first and second respondents, respectively. In a ruling delivered on Thursday, Justice Antonia Covey granted all the relief sought by the applicant as confirmed by a certified true copy obtained. obtained. The applicant had sought an order of the court restraining the respondents from taking further action on and all before, on and all giving effect to the directives containing the circular of the first respondent. Dated the 16th October 2024 and captioned admission of candidates with minimum admissible age of 16 years, as signed by Mohamed E. Babaji to all Nigerian universities pending the hearing and determination of the originating motion. The applicants also prayed the court to issue an order of interim injunction restraining the respondent from withdrawing the admission given to Indian Ikoko Martins and all restricting our rights and privileges and or preventing our access to school and all educational facilities of the second respondent institution as a student pending the hearing and determination of the originating motions. In his ruling, Justice Olo to say, reliefs one and two are hereby granted to preserve and protect the respondent, which is the right of every Nigerian child born on the 1st of September 2009 to the 31st of December 2009, who wrote down and passed, who wrote and passed down the exams in 2024. To remain duly admitted by first respondent as it applies to all Nigerian universities, including second respondent, and the effect of that is that the first respondent circular to vice chancellors, provost rectors dated 1610-2024. 111 is put in abeyance and on hold, and the status quo to be maintained is the admission list prior to this circular pending the airing of the originating motion dated and filed 24 October 2024. And I hereby obtained and I hereby granted for substituted service by career service as prayed. Relief for, for accelerated hearing is also granted. That will be all on our news update this morning. Join us for more stories on all our channels Flip TV, Flip TV Plus. My name is Victor Ajayi.